in this tutorial we will solve these exercises in solidworks 2020 in this series of tutorials we are learning solidworks 2020 from start to finish in the previous tutorial we have learned solidworks sketch basics link to that tutorial is given in the description and it is recommended that you watch that tutorial before solving these exercises if you want to receive notification for new videos every alternate monday and wednesday then please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon let's start with this first exercise if at your end software is showing this dialog box then you can start by clicking here on part and if this dialog box is not visible then you will have to click here on new click on new then click on part and click on ok now in this sketch at first we will create this overall shape and then we will apply dimensions if you are in features then click on sketch and click on sketch then you can create this sketch on any plane suppose i will start with this top plane then to pan press ctrl press middle mouse button and drag the mouse and take this origin on the left side because our sketch will be created on the right side then click on line then you always have to use this origin point in your sketch so that your sketch will become fully defined then first point will be this origin point click there ensure that your line is horizontal if your line is horizontal then this yellow box with horizontal line will be shown and angle will also be 180 degree then click and create our desired shape and ensure that you are tracking the points properly click click again click click the points for the line then track points properly click click then this point will be in line with this point again track this point click again this point click and click so this outside shape is ready press escape then apply dimensions so here will be 100 80 150 and this 50 click on smart dimension click on this line take your cursor below and click then specify length of 100 enter again this height will be 50 click on this line take your cursor on this side click specify distance of 50 enter then select this line click here specify distance of 80 enter then this line now here this is 150 150 and 100 so specify here 150 enter then again here 150 enter then this is 100 enter then this length will be same as this length so we can apply here equal length relation press escape select this line click on this line press ctrl and click on this line then click here on make equal so here both lengths are same then again click on smart dimension next dimension is this 250 50 
select this line take your cursor on this side click specify height of 250 enter then this height is 50 enter then this line is blue and this line is blue that means sketch is underdefined so to convert this line into black we will have to align this line with this line press escape press ctrl select this line and this line then click on make collinear click outside so here this line is also fully defined then this line will be in line with this line again select this line press ctrl and click on this line and click on make collinear click outside so here this sketch is fully defined then next is to create these two circles of 60 diameter and 40 radius now this circle is aligned with the midpoint of these lines so click on circle click roughly in the center take your cursor away and click then same way here click take it away and click press escape then apply dimensions click on smart dimension select this circle take your cursor outside and click and diameter is 60 enter then click on this circle take it outside and click and radius is 40 that is diameter is 80 enter press escape then we will have to align this center point with this midpoint for that click on this center point press ctrl and click on this midpoint then click on make vertical same way again click on this center point ctrl click on this midpoint click on make horizontal now this circle is fully defined then select the center point press ctrl select this midpoint and click on make vertical and click outside so still it is not fully defined because we will need one vertical location also so that vertical location is 80 click on smart dimension click on this line and this center point take your cursor on this side and click and specify height of 80 enter press escape now this circle is also fully defined so this sketch is ready click on ok and if you want you can save it by clicking here on save and you can give here desired name Suppose I will name it as part 1 final and save. Then to close this part, click here on this X. So that part has been closed. To start new part, click here on new and click on OK. Then next is this drawing. Now in this drawing at first we will create this horizontal line of 75 length and this inclined line of 135 length and is in 45 degree angle click here on sketch and sketch again this drawing you can create on any plane suppose i will create it on right plane then again I will pan it, press ctrl, press middle mouse button and drag the mouse. Click on line, click on this origin point, take your cursor here and click. Then take your cursor on this side and click, press escape. Then click on smart dimension, select this line, take it below and click. Specify length of 75, enter. Select this line. Take your cursor on this side and click. 
specify length of 135 enter then select this line and this line then take your cursor inside here click specify angle of 45 enter press escape so this shape is ready so to create this shape we will have to mirror this shape around this center line so this center line will be parallel to this line so at first we will create this center line click on this arrow near line and click on center line then click on this point take your cursor on this side and click press escape then select this line control this line and click on make parallel so here these two lines are parallel then click on mirror entities select these two lines then ensure that tick is here before copy click here on mirror about and select this center line and right click ok so here this is created perfectly same way again we will mirror it around this vertical axis for that again click here on this arrow click on center line click on this point take your cursor on this side and click press escape then again click on mirror entities then you can also select multiple objects at a time for that take your cursor in the empty space then click and hold hold the click button don't release it and create window and ensure that all the entities you want to select are inside that window and release the window so here all these objects are selected then scroll it down again ensure that copy is selected click on mirror about and click on this center line right click and ok same way we will mirror it around this horizontal axis again click here center line click on this point and this point press escape mirror entities then select all the objects then scroll it down click on mirror about and select this axis right click ok so here this outside shape is ready then we will have to create these circles now here this circle is of 60 radius that is 120 diameter and this inside circle is of 80 diameter click on circle then click on this midpoint take your cursor away click again click here on the center point and click press escape click on smart dimension click on this outside circle take your cursor on this side click specify diameter of 120 enter then select this circle click diameter of 80 enter press escape then click on zoom to fit so here this shape is also ready click on ok then again click on new click on ok click on sketch then click on front plane then next object is this one at first we will create this center line of 225 length and this one of 300 length and angle is 150 click here on this arrow click on center line then track this origin point click click take cursor on this side and click press escape then click on smart dimension click on this line 
take it above and click and length is 225 enter again click on the center line click 300 enter then select this line and this line click inside angle is 150 enter press escape then we will have to create these six circles click on circle then click on this end point take it away click click on the center point click this center point click same way here click click and here also same procedure click click press escape then we will apply dimensions here this internal circle is 22.5 radius that is 45 diameter and this outside is 45 radius that is 90 diameter click on smart dimension click on this circle take it outside and click specify diameter of 45 enter click on this circle click 90 enter then this circle is 90 radius that is 180 diameter and this one is 60 radius that is 120 diameter click click 120 enter click click 180 enter 30 diameter and 60 diameter click click 30 enter click click 60 enter 60 enter press escape then to create tangent lines for that click here on line take your cursor on this circle click then take your cursor on this circle and take it ahead until it shows tangent symbol once tangent symbol is shown click there then to stop line command here just double click so it will stop temporarily that command but line command will continue to work again click here on this circle again take your cursor on this circle until tangent symbol is shown click double click then again click then take here tangent symbol is shown click take it outside double click then click here again here tangent symbol is shown click and double click press escape so this shape is also ready so okay so all the shapes has been created in the next tutorial we will learn to create 3d objects in solidworks 2020 and we will solve some exercises based on that tutorial if you learn something from this video then please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to receive notification of new video every alternate monday and wednesday thanks for watching we will again meet in next tutorial